Hey guys, Christina here, and today I have a look for you in a review of Apologia's Exploring Creation with Chemistry. This is a high school chemistry course, and it is the third edition we're going to be looking at today. My oldest son recently completed it, so I wanted to share what it looks like as well as our thoughts on it. But first of all, if you're new here, welcome. I am a homeschooling mom to five in the Canadian Maritimes. They are currently between the ages of six and 15, and we just completed our seventh year of homeschooling. So let me get the camera turned around. I'll give you a look at all the different components and materials to this course. So here is what the main book looks like. This is the one that the child is gonna be reading and getting their information from. It is quite thick and it is a soft bound book. Now they do have an audio version of this book. Um, in, I believe it's about $42 in Canada. This book comes with another one I'll show you in a minute then I'll tell you the price for this. So, like uh, most of Apologia's books, once you open it, it gives you some information for instructional support, things like the audiobook, um, the video courses, and they have online classes as well. Then it goes into just some student notes about this book, some information about the experiments, the laboratory equipment, and then at the end here, they have these, as far as I know, in all the Apologia books where there's a little code you can put in and that gives you extra resources for each of the modules online on their website. So there's a little code under here. And then it goes right into the table of contents. So measurement units and the scientific method, atoms and molecules, atomic structure, molecular structure, polyatomic ions and molecular geometry, changes in matter and chemical reactions, describing chemical reactions, oh, I don't know how to say this word, stoichiotomy, hmm, I should have asked my son how to say that, <laughs> acid-base chemistry, the chemistry of solutions, the gas phase, energy, heat, and temperature, and thermodynamics, then kinetics, chemical equilibrium, reduction oxidization reaction. So there are 16 modules or 16 units. Then you have glossary, appendix, references, and index. So it starts off with this welcome page, and this is module one. So I'll show you kind of what it looks like. It has these words with the definitions, they're in bold. Here's an example of experiments. Think about this. So there are not a whole lot of pictures in this book. It is a lot of writing, um, a lot of numbers. I believe they do say you need to have algebra, at least algebra one, I believe, to do this chemistry class. I may be mistaken about that, but I believe so. So you can see just how few pictures there it is in here or there are in here. The modules are pretty long because you're gonna be spending a couple weeks on them. And I think this is the end of it, yeah. So, there's a summary of key equations and tables in the module. Answers to the on your own questions, which I'll show you in a minute. Study and guide. So there's a study guide to use before you do the test because there is a test for each module. Practice problems, and then it moves on to module two. So I'll just give you a really quick flip through here. There's the periodic table at the back. Uh, let's see, 650 pages, so it's quite hefty. Let's see. <laughs> A lot of writing in here. So that is that book, which is the main textbook. So this one comes with it, or at least the way I bought it. This is the solutions and tests for exploring creation of chemistry. Now, it also came with a test packet, which my son used, so I don't have that to show you, but they do have the test in here. So this book, again, softbound, Starts off the same way, with this page here, table of contents, before you begin. 
um, about the text, experiments, grading. So it kind of tells you how the course should be laid out and how you as a parent should be grading course administration. So these are the, these are the solutions to module one review questions. So it's all in here are the answers. These are the solutions to the practice problems. These are the solutions to the extra practice problems for the module. And then this is the test. So it came with an extra like paper of these. And so my son just used those. So that's the test. Each test, I'm trying to remember, I think they were all out of 100, uh, 100 points, not questions. And then these are the answers. And then it moves on to module two. So I'll give you a quick flip through this one's 358 pages, but it's all set up exactly the same way for each module. And you can see it does do some of the step-by-step -step and the laying out of equations to find the answers. So that's what that book looks like. So for this book, along with this and those extra test ones, was just over $150. So if you are going to do this course, you could just do it with these two, um, or this set of books with those tests, and that could be all you need. However, I purchased the student notebook. I just find that having the student notebooks from Apologia makes my life so much easier, especially when I am managing multiple sciences. So this book here is about $62 for this. So it is quite pricey. I'll give you a quick look. So it's spiral bound, soft cover. So it starts out with the contents, introduction, parent notes, the rubric for grading experiments telling you how many points to give. This is a place you can keep uh, track of the scores. I keep them in a different spot, so I didn't write in here. Student notes using graphs, lab, si lab section. So they divide it, the book into two, which I'll show you. Taking effective notes. And then they have the schedule here. So the schedule, I think it's 34 weeks. Yeah, 34 weeks divided in by five days each week. And so that is really nice to have for me, like I said, because I have other sciences, to just go ahead and have my son just copy or use this schedule here. So here's an example of what it looks like. So there's places to take notes. So here's module one. These are the on your own questions. So I did not have my child do this section. Um, these are the study guide questions. He did this. The practice problems, he did that and he did not do the extra practice problems. And then on to module two. So the first half of the book to here is set up all in the same manner through each of the modules. And then after that, they have the experiment section here. So all the experiments are at the back here by module they have extra ones as well. Now my son did not do very many of the experiments. A number of them he already knew, like they were kind of simple, and other ones we didn't quite have everything that was needed. And I'll talk a little bit more about this with my thoughts on it. But it has all the different explanations, the observation places, um, to fill in your scientific method, all that. These are the extra ones at the back. And they have some space for graphing. And that's what this big hefty book looks like. How many pages is this one? Yeah, it's almost 600 pages. So there's that option. There's also this. 
This is a thumb drive that has all of the video lessons on it. So each daily lesson, I guess, um, has somebody explaining and um, I'll see if I can put a little clip in here for you. Um, showing what it, the lesson is talking about basically. And this is the most expensive part of this course. That's why I say you don't absolutely need it. This is over $300 which honestly blows my mind a little bit. And I'll talk a little more about why I decided to buy this in a few minutes. But that's that part. And then the last thing I bought was from Nature's Workshop Plus is the chemistry lab kit. A lot of this did not get used, but there's a list here of everything that it comes with. So you can see there. Now I decided to go ahead and buy this because this was my oldest child doing this course. I have four younger kids who I figure they're gonna be needing at least some of this later on for their sciences. So I figured it was worth it. This was $110, which I felt like for what came in it wasn't too bad. There's a little Bunsen burner. There's all kinds of, um, beakers and I don't know <laughs> what are these called uh my mind's gone blank uh funnel funnel so a bunch of these things in here I have a litmus paper I just thought it's easier than trying to collect these things on my own so I went ahead and I did buy this so for everything that I bought so there's the kit the three books, the test, and this um, before tax was $635, which is quite a lot for a chemistry course. But let me tell you some other thoughts on it now. So I should start by saying why I chose this particular chemistry course for my son or why we chose it because he had a say in it. Um, first off, I've used Apologia before. I find that their layout in terms of having the textbook the student notebook, the test, the answer keys. It's very teacher or parent friendly. And so I like that aspect of it. Also, they're the only company I've found so far that offers an advanced chemistry course, which my son wants to take in grade 12. And I felt like it just made sense to kind of do their basic chemistry first before doing their advanced, just because if I use another curriculum company, then there's a chance that there's gaps or maybe they've already learned this or there's overlaps. So, those were the two main reasons that we went ahead and chose this course. Now, originally, um, I just had the books for my son, and about two months in, he was really having trouble with it. And so that's when I went ahead and purchased those video lessons, which honestly brought the cost of the course way up. It's the most expensive course we have ever bought for homeschooling, and hopefully ever will, <laughs> because that was very expensive. And it, so he went back and watched those videos for the modules he'd missed and then he kind of continued on doing the work and watching the videos. He said it helped a little bit, but it wasn't like, oh, I get it now. You know, it wasn't quick or instantaneous. So he struggled with this course. Now my hindsight being 2020, of course, is that I should have had him made sure that he did every experiment because he did not. Some of them we didn't have the ingredients or what he needed and some of them were really simple and he already could tell me like what the outcome was going to be but i wish i'd had him do every single experiment i also wish that i had had him do all of the extra practice questions i think that would have made a difference at this point he's completed the course with around 70 percent average on the tests so i feel like he's learned a lot but he is not firm in the the base or the foundation of chemistry that he needs to move forward. So I'm probably going to have him do chemistry from another company uh, to kind of fill in those gaps before we move on. So I did ask him what he liked and what he didn't like about the course and I made a little list. So he did like that he learned that it covered a variety of topics, he liked that. But he felt like the examples were not 
thorough enough. Like they would give an example, but then the question they asked him to do was slightly different and he wasn't sure how to adjust to come up with the answer for that. He also felt like it was presented in a bit of a confusing way and while the videos helped, again, it wasn't great. And that it was too much for the course, that either he needed more time to go more in depth in each topic and fully understand it, or that maybe they should have had less topics covered in the 34 weeks that they had set out. So that was his opinion on it. Um, my husband and I have never done chemistry before. We were unable to help him. We did have a friend come over once who helped with um, a tutoring session for him, but he still struggled with it. I'm not sure if it's the course, if it's him, if it's a bit of both. If you've had children use this course, I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts and opinions on it. Um, did your kids struggle with it too? So I'm gonna hang on to the curriculum because it may work for my other children. We will see. Um, but kind of mixed feelings about it and about the program. Hopefully I've answered at least some questions that you may have about the course, but always feel free to leave questions and comments down below because I do try and answer every single one of them. Um, but otherwise, I hope that this finds you having a great day. Take care.